I had a friend from college, uh, William Croft, who uh, found the book, I'm not sure where, but he thought it was a very important book, so he bought four copies and sent them to the four most influential people he thought in computing. Uh, I received it without even so much as a return address, so I didn't know where it came from. And I leafed through it and I thought, well, this looks like some building code book until I started reading and read it, realized it was really something profound. Though at that time, I wasn't sure why it was sent to me or what I was supposed to think of it. Uh, probably three, four, five years later, uh, I was working with Kent Beck and we were studying the problem of how someone learns to be good at object-oriented programming. We had been both, you know, many months into exploring Smalltalk, which at our company, which was Tektronix, had early access to Smalltalk. And we uh, didn't have good advice on how to learn how to think in terms of objects instead of the usual procedures or functions. Uh, Kent walked in one day with notes on the synthesis of form and said, I just happen to have this on my bookshelf from his career at University, uh, uh, yeah, U of O, University of Oregon. And uh, uh, he said, this is the answer. And so I started leafing through it and it seemed pretty technical and procedural. But there was this nice mention in the uh, preface that said that uh, Alexander himself had uh, decided that the most important thing in that book was the patterns. And that's when I made the connection that I had had on my own bookshelf, a pattern book, brought that in the next day, and we decided, Kent and I, to study uh, patterns and pattern language in earnest.